Revere me. I don't know She's if very I know anybody. beautiful, uh, and she glistens in the sun in the morning. You need to find her. She's the one who's able to bring me back, husband. I know the time does not stand still. Can't see the world when it's spinning, spinning. Try to pin me down. You don't have a clue. Wouldn't understand if I showed you, showed you. Stop forsaking everything that I've done. Won't be breaking. Back to work, I suppose. Uh, Hi. So, here. You moved from my bedroom to my office? Well, I thought the whole building was your office. And I'm staying yeah. here, so what's yours is mine, right? Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Sure. Um, But c could you not go through my stuff? I was just reading a little bit, but if you'd prefer me not, sure. Yeah, that, that'd be preferable. Yeah, just warming your seat up for you. Um, I don't, I don't think you need to warm my seat, but thank you. You're welcome. Great. Um, well, you have fun doing whatever you do. Okay. You're just gonna sit there and watch me? It is quite entertaining. What? You... Okay. Could you, like, do something else, though? Hmm. Like what? I don't know. Ever since you got here, you seem to just be sitting here and messing with me. Yes. Yeah, like, you want to do something else, maybe? I mean... Is there something you'd like me to do? I can be helpful. I can do whatever you'd like. Whatever I'd like. Mm -hmm. Anything to make you happy. Well then. <laughs> you know, I think there is a little something something you might be able to help me out with. Really? I'm all ears. Well. So. I have this friend, and he's been doing a lot of research lately. He's been slaving over a library, combing through books, and I imagine he could really use someone to, you know, help him out, some sort of assistant, whether it's cataloging the different uh, books or it's, like, uh... just making sure he's kept okay. Oh, what? That doesn't sound as fun to you? No, it doesn't. Hmm. Well, I mean, you did say anything I wanted. I guess I did, and I am a woman of my word. Yep. So there you go. Plus, if, if you do help out around here, I, you know, maybe I wouldn't mind you staying here as much. I don't know. Really? Yeah, sure. Just actually Researching. help him out. Um, yeah. What, but, what is it? Look, what I don't is... even know if he's going to be cool with it yet. Oh. I just, you know, he's been working really hard at it. He's, you know, he's always been one for studying, but he's also one for... You know, getting too caught up in things. Mm. So I think someone there to help him would, would be useful. So what you're saying is he's going to take a little persuasion. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he's kind of been independent for a while. And trying to do his own thing, so... Either way, you need him to uh, find out some stuff about artifacts. You were there when the prophecy was read. Oh, the artifacts. Right, right, right. Um, yeah, what, what, what was that all about? Some <laughs> artifacts that are needed to do something. I really didn't yeah. understand it. That's pretty much it. Nine curiosities to do something, some mm. change. So. Uh-huh, uh-huh. He's doing the research. How are you with books? I'm a 
whatever you want me to be. <laughs> so, great. All right, well, I guess just convince him to let you help or something. He'll probably say no at first, but just bug him. No, I, I can be very persuasive, as we both know. <laughs> it won't be a problem, trust me. Plus, if yeah. it's uh, for, you know, the king of Atlantis, it must be important, right? Important studies. I mean, it's probably for more than just him. Mm -hmm. Good but yeah, know. it's important. You seem to be real interested all of a sudden. <laughs> oh, it's just, you know, I'm curiosity is I wonder what they do. Uh... I know, they, are they are they powerful, per se? Yeah, that's kind of the idea. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. They, uh, I, <laughs> it's not for like I have a reason to want powerful curiosity artifact things. I just like you know what what, what can they do? Can yeah. they can they um, mm, could could you do something with them? Like uh, yes, you can probably do something with them. Yeah, but like, uh, what specifically could you um, <clears throat> change the color of these awful curtains, or like, I don't know, grow a new pair of eyeballs, uh, get a new haircut, get a uh, face tattoo? We removed. really don't know much about them. Ah, okay. 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 So that's what the research is for. That's what we're studying. That's what he needs help with. That's what mm. you got to do. Mm, yeah. If you want to make me happy. Of course I want to make you happy. Plus, if it's going to, you know, let me stay here a little bit longer, you know, sure, why not? Who is this friend, by the way? His name is Impu. He's son of Anubis. Son of Anubis. I'll pretend that mm -hmm. I know who that is. <laughs> it's a Egyptian god, similar. But yeah, don't worry about it, but mm, just, won't. um, you know, try to... Be less you, I guess. <laughs> I know we just started dating or whatever, but uh, um, <clears throat> you're already trying to change me. Maybe Lee was right about you. Hmm. Okay, no, it's not that. It's just he's... Are you breaking up with me? I don't even want to answer that to, to clarify anything. I just mm -hmm. wanted to say that he has gone through a lot. And he's taking it a little harder than most. Oh, he lost so a husband a few got... years ago. Oh. I was going to assume that he got broken up with. I guess your husband dying would be... Yeah, yeah, a little more than that. Up. Yeah. Uh-huh. So he is the one that I keep hearing about who's, you know, dealing with the loss of a husband. Got it, got it. Huh. Yep. Poor guy. Well, I can't promise that I'll be any different than I usually am, but I will try to be on my best behavior. I promise. Okay. Very good. Are you sure you don't want me to stay? No, you got a lot of work to do. Mm-hmm. And I'm sure you'll be back after that. You know it. All right. Have a good day. You too. Fell asleep, did we? <laughs> I suppose there's no reason why I can't still help you. Plus, I'm sure you'd love a little visit from that dead husband of yours. <laughs> Oh dear! Oh, hey husband! Hello! <laughs> Where have you been, silly? Oh, you know, just, you know, looking at the throne and just relaxing. Relaxing? Didn't you see you had a bunch of, like, work you had to do? Just, like, in your study? What do you mean, relaxing? Oh, I already you completed that work. Oh, <gasps> efficient! I thought you were slacking! No, no slacking here at all. 
Good. Well, good. I'm glad. I'm glad that some of my work, my workflow is rubbing off on you. <laughs> oh, it is an, indeed uh, rubbing off on me. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Did you, did you work a little bit too hard? What? You, no, no. I'm just, you know, tired from working and I'm so happy to see you, husband. Well, I'm, so, I'm happy to see you too. But what did I tell you about overworking? Okay. What did I tell you? I make sure that I don't, you only what did look you at tell your book. We gotta make sure. I'm surprised you didn't learn. Maybe you're so. Mm. You know what? I'll let it slide this time. But make sure you're only able to read your books for about like two hours at a time, and you must give your you're eyes a little bit so of a break. Right, husband. Oh, I I should have just you know. I'll make sure to remember next time. Yes. Also, make sure to drink plenty of water. That also will help you out too. Lots oh, of water. Yeah, lots of water. You're right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, well, I'm, I, I, I mean, I've been working out the garden pretty much all day here. And honestly, I'm freaking starving. What's for dinner? Oh, uh, dinner. Um, I can make us some steaks. Um, maybe, maybe you did work a little bit too hard. Steaks? Yeah, steaks. Steaks? And you're vegetarian. Oh, you got me. I'm just kidding. Oh, pfft. wait. You trying to? What you? What are you saying that like? Well, you trying to see if I can pay attention to you? Is that what's going on? Of course, I know. Oh, silly me. I thought you could have taken a joke like that. No, you. Well, I I thought it was very funny. I liked it a lot. But <sighs> thank I you was, so much, husband. I was, <laughs> yes, husband. Husband. You've been using husband a lot. You can call me whatever you want. It's okay. Okay, Impu. I know. Yeah, there you go. Oh, it's, it's, it still sounds weird to call me by my full name. It's cute. Even though we just got married. It's so cute. Uh, yes, we did just get married just a while ago, didn't we? Mm hmm. Yep. Perfect. <laughs> Quite the wedding it was. Yeah, it was good. I enjoyed it. So, uh, you pulled, did so good with it. You got the fireworks and everything. Everybody there was so happy to be there. No problems. There wasn't any any bad guys. No, nothing. It was perfect. Oh, yeah. The fireworks. I completely forgot. That was mm -hmm. nice. Yeah. Wait, you forgot. You're the one who set, you were the one who set them up yourselves. <laughs> right. Of course. Yes. No, I, I, you know, it's just been a long couple of weeks. Yeah, it has been. I mean, preparing for a wedding and everything. Plus, you know, trying to take care of a mansion like this. It makes perfect sense. Uh, I, yeah, I understand. Does. Maybe, but can you, maybe no more work tomorrow, okay? No work tomorrow. You're right, husband. No more work. Um, Let me no go work. make you that, uh, what would you like to eat, husband? Um, One of your signature salads, please. Sure, let's go to the kitchen. Uh. Brian, dear. Uh, yes. The other husband. The other way. The yes, other way. I was kidding. I just wanted to see if oh. you were paying attention. Yeah, it's one of your <laughs> silly jokes again. You're such a jokester today, you silly head. I know. I'm just trying <laughs> something new. It's fine. That's fair. Yeah, that's okay. Um. Okay, so that uh, that way is the kitchen. Yes. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. There's chairs over yeah. here. Yes. Oh you yes. Really here we do. are. You really did work a little bit too hard. You sure okay, honey? Oh, I'm perfectly fine, husband. As, why do you keep calling me just husband? You usually call me Well, that's who you are, my husband. Time. True. Yeah, but I like the other names you gave me. I like them a bunch. You know, when you get married, sometimes those kind of things change, you know? A lot. I guess so. I guess so. A little difference. I have to get used to it, but it's okay. That's perfectly fine. I just want to make sure that you're okay and all. That's honestly my main concern. I know you're working. I know you're trying your best to make sure that me and you are perfectly good for the future, but don't wor don't stress yourself out too much, okay? Uh, always stressful. Hmm. In what way? What's stressful? What way? Oh, no, nothing. I'm just... Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to get too close. I'm... Oh, 
I, I, well, we usually do that, so. Sorry, um, maybe you are a little bit tired. I'll, I'll, I'll <laughs> I'm just, uh, I just, I just missed you is all. That's, that's it. It's all okay. Uh, of course, husband. Yeah, you, we miss each other so much. Yeah, we miss each other all the time. At least I do. At least I tell you that all the time. Every single time I see you, I always look at your face and tell you how much I missed you. But Even no. if you were gone for like 30 seconds. Um, right. Yes. <laughs> Three seconds. 30, dear. 30? You, oh. You? Sure? Everything? This is, this is, uh... No, I'm fine. Is, I'm, I'm fine. This? No, it just... No, it just feels like... I don't know. Something's definitely up. Unless you have a secret for me, and that's why you're like this. Are you uh, have a surprise? Secret? Is that it? Well, surprise? Are you surprised? Okay. Is that it? You caught me. I, um... Hmm? You were doing a surprise for me. And the surprise is that this is... a dream, in Pooh. Uh, uh, uh... uh. A dream? What? What? What do you mean? Everything in here is a dream. A, a dream? Huh? Are you saying this is like this is your dream? Is this my dream? It's your dream, husband. Oh, you're right. It is. Why, I just, why did I notice it before? I, 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 I should be wearing these clothes. I haven't worn these in years. And, but, what happened to you five years ago? But how are you, how are you right in front of me? There's a way to bring me back, Impu. Bring you, wait, huh? There's a way? Are you like talking? Wait, 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 wait there's a way? How? The, you, there's you a way. It. Yes, you there is a way. You have to. Look. I have been. I do, there's a way. Okay, because I've been stuck in my research for so long now. I've been trying to research the for five years now, and I I still haven't been able to figure it out. Well, at least have your soul preserved for now. But I I haven't figured out the next step in actually repairing it. You want to know how to bring me back, or not? Yes, yes, I would love to. Please. Okay. Well, hear me out and listen well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm listening. I'm listening. Don't worry. I remember uh, big brain. I've got a big brain. I'll listen. Okay. I need you to seek a woman out. A woman? Does she Her have name the is Reviri. Reviri? Reviri. I don't know She's if I know anybody. She's very beautiful uh, and she glistens in the sun in the morning. You need to find her. She's the one who's able to bring me back, husband. So it's a girl named Reviri. It's able to do this. What what kind of what kind of person is she? Is she like some sort of like like sorcerer? She's she's like a go a goddess herself? Like, You'll have to person? see that for yourself when you meet her. She has all the answers. Okay. Uh where do I find her? At Camp Oasis, of course. Remember? She's at camp. She's at camp. Uh, yes, she's at camp. I. Well, she definitely can't be Egyptian because she's very in powerful. Very powerful. I would have. And you have to do every like single thing she says. Everything she says, you need to do. Every. If you want me back, of course. I mean, if you don't want me back. No, then... no, that's not it. That's definitely not it. Don't say anything like that, dear. Of course I want you back. Okay. You just know how hesitant I am sometimes. I, I just, you know, only real facts. That's all me. I but just with love this, you can't be hesitant, okay? If you want um, me back, you need to talk to her at camp. Remember, her name is Reviri. She's very Reviri. powerful and beautiful. You can't miss her. Okay. All right. Um, Sure. Yeah, I'll go seek her out. If, if she's got answers... All the oh, answers. Definitely will be going towards it then. Um, I don't have long. Oh, you, wait, so you I don't? need to go now. You you have to go now? Um, but we just we just got to... 
If you want to see more of me, you'll do what I say. And you'll talk to Reviri. A little bit more straightforward than usual, but... Okay, dear. I'll He's do husband. it. Well, this is the first time I've been able to lay eyes on you in over five years. So, I'm, so, I'm, I'm a little bit sad and then our time away has to end right now. If you want me to return to you, talk to Reviri, please. Okay, I will. But under one condition first. Um, what condition? Before you leave. Can I at least just have a kiss before I missed you? Uh, a kiss? Yeah. I, yeah. I'm, I must be on, but... Um, you, please. Uh, yeah, yes, a, a kiss is fine. Please. You're my husband Thank after you. all. <laughs> yeah. Please. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I know it's probably been a bit, but... Yeah, okay. it's... Uh, but, mm, mwah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you, dear. Yes. <laughs> Appreciate that. Inpu. Um, I must be going Thank off you. then. Okay. All right. Oh, ow. Oh. Are you? <laughs> I'm uh fine, uh my husband. Oh ow. Uh, Zylo, Zylo, I, I I need to ask you something. I I would have messaged you like some what other way, but what is the shouting outside? Let, um. Oh. Uh, hello, hello. Um. Hi there. Uh, have you uh have you seen Zylo by chance? Oh, the son of Hades is currently out at the moment. Uh, He's out. Yeah. Oh, Can I uh, need, need you know, leave you a message or something? Um, you can yeah, come in I'm, and wait for him if you'd like. I guess that can work. Um, but, um, who are you? Wait, wait, are you, are you staying here? Is this, because, wait, 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 will you be in Zylo's office? <gasps> are you, um, are you and Zylo possibly, you know, you know, trying to, like, are you together? Are you two together? Oh, together? <laughs> um, you might be able to say that uh no uh the son oh, of hades that... has just been really kind to me the past couple of days because uh my cabin it, it got destroyed by a oh. shirtless man so um he's letting me stay oh. for a few days until it's repaired oh well that's good um well hopefully that gets repaired soon um by the way um when it comes to xylo um some reason knives are always something when it comes to uh knives? stuff he gets uh no, no not not towards not towards like uh like the other the other person's more towards he gets stabbed a lot that's what i'm saying oh i don't know why I'll... just don't bring him ever to a ball ever oh okay anyways I'll uh yeah look out for sure i suppose um yeah <clears throat> um wait a second Riff wait you said you were just staying here for a couple days, right? Yes. And your 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 cabin got blown up, which means that your stuff would. Wait. What? Okay, you're the person. You're actually. Funny enough. Uh, no, don't run away. Don't run. Away. You're the person I'm actually looking for. I think. Uh. Uh, if that's if this is your stuff. Yes, that is my stuff. My name is okay. Riviri. Yes, Riviri. Um. Yeah, you're the person I was looking for. Uh, that doesn't make much sense. I've never met you before. I mean, I saw um, you at the Atlantis meeting, but aside from that, I haven't really yes, seen um, you. Yeah. I haven't met you either, but don't hear me out. Hear me out, okay? okay. I know this is going to sound a little bit more crazier, but this is a ca this is from Camp Oasis. Crazier things have happened, okay? Crazier things have happened. All right. But hear me out, okay? Hear me out. I'm listening. So... Last night, when I was researching, I fell asleep at my desk, and I was having this dream where I was talking one-on-one -on -one with my, well, currently deceased husband. I'm 
and I'm sorry for your loss. It's it's okay. No worries. Uh, uh, I'm working on it, which is uh, you, uh that we'll get to that point actually because it's important with him. Right. Um, basically, um, in the dream, my husband told me that I needed to come see you. <laughs> uh, is this some sort of joke or... It is, it is, I'm so, I, I, like I said, it's things that, crazier things have happened at this camp, I'll tell you that. Um, but this is no joke. Last night, I had a dream that you me. could possibly help me out bring my husband back from the dead. You want me to help you bring your husband back from the yes. dead? Yes. That's what my dreams... That's what my my deceased husband told me. Um, that you had it. That you had an idea. I, I wasn't told exactly what you could do. But I was told <laughs> that you could do something. I'm, I'm sorry if I'm pressuring you, but it, this is something... I you, I never have these types of dreams. I, ever. And it was so real, it felt like like I had to snap out of the fact that it actually was a dream. And the fact that I've never met you before. This is our first time ever like officially meeting or talking together. Right. And your name was mentioned on multiple times means something. I think you actually can you are you able to do something like that? I, I mean I that's why I'm at this camp. I, I don't know quite yet what I'm capable of. Um, Wait, so, you, so you're saying there's a, there's, a, there's, there's a chance that you might be able to know how to do that? Well, I, I don't know about yet. I mean, I, I would need to uh, practice, and I, I don't even know where to begin with that sort of thing, but okay. okay. You, oh. you swear that you had a dream, and I was mentioned. Mm-hmm. Swear on my four tails. Okay. My family used to talk about dreams and that sort of thing and how they were important. So I, against my better judgment, because it is kind of creepy, not going to lie. Um, I, I suppose if, if, if you would want, I could uh, attempt to help you. Yes, please. Um, I've been trying to research this now for five years and I've been... Stumped wow. for so long. Five years. And I haven't been able... Yeah, this, this one happened, unfortunately. Uh, I've been able to get this... I have this soul crystal that Brian used. And basically, it broke. Oh. I've been trying to repair it because it does have a little bit of life, but I haven't figured out how to do that yet. Huh. I think I and have heard of such a thing, and... You, you have? You have? Yeah, I, I think there's a way to mend them. Oh my god, thank you. Thank finally. You're look. the first person that's actually said anything positive about this. Really? Um, yeah, people think I'm crazy. I'm like trying to bring someone back from that. I mean, I am a death child. That stuff is like kind of in our jurisdiction. But if someone goes to Elysium, it's basically game over for them. But yeah. I wanted to see I wanted to see if it was possible if I could bring them back from such a place. Well. And you know, I usually keep an optimistic outlook. I don't think anything is impossible, especially, like you said earlier, stranger things have happened, so... Uh, <laughs> yeah, don't even get me started when everyone died at camp one time. A what? Um, don't worry, don't, that was the uh, alternate reality. It's fine, I fixed it. That was, uh, no, don't worry. N n nothing right. like that will ever happen again. Don't worry. Okay. Uh, well, that's good. Thank you so much for, you know... Offering the help I could of, use of course, yeah. the support really honestly. If I could if I can if I have I have some research on it, but like like I said, the pages of actually bringing someone back are missing. I don't know. I haven't been able to figure it out. I just know how to I just know what it what the soul crystal's capable of, what happens if you use it too much, and how to preserve it. That's literally it. I don't know how to fully repair it yet. Gotcha. Well, together i definitely think we can figure it out and uh speaking of research i i do recall when i saw you at the uh atlantis meeting you said something about um researching uh, what were they called um uh pieces Ar or artifacts oh uh, yes the artifacts yeah um, yeah 
I've always found stuff like that super fascinating. I mean, it's it's crazy just uh, the amount of information that's out there. Um, do you mm -hmm. mind uh, explaining to me what exactly those do or what they're used for? Hmm. All right. Well, and honestly, the artifacts of any kind of mythology pretty much can do anything. I mean, the certain certain ones, depending on what kind of artifacts you gather from certain mythologies, can give you extraordinate power. Oh. Or they can make it so that you, some artifacts, make you live forever. Or some that are more meant for healing people, or you name it. These artifacts, um, depending on exactly which ones we need for Atlantis, I still don't know exactly what we want. Mm -hmm. But there are certain ones that can basically give you whatever you want. You just have to go looking for it, honestly. Wow. Uh, that's, <laughs> that's fascinating, actually. Um, so maybe we can work up a deal of sorts. Or I guess it's beneficial to you either way. Um, say mm -hmm. I were to help you, you know, bring your dead husband back. Uh, would you mind if I aided in your research on said artifacts? Maybe, maybe we can work on finding what they do and their locations together. Um, for the good of Atlantis, of course. Right. Um... Yeah, I don't see why not. I'm surprised more people didn't ask me if they needed if I needed any help with the research, but most people just leave me to the books because, well, they call me the freaking Egyptian encyclopedia, so yeah, they just think I know a bunch. Yeah, I... them, you know, uh, you it might be in the Egyptian encyclopedia or whatever you say, but you could still use help. Yeah, I could definitely use it. It's a lot to just throw on my shoulders, even with, uh, well, that's, yeah, everybody kind of knows that Mitch and I went and had a little disagreement earlier, so I've been kind of cool. a little bit iffy you and the about king? doing this. Yeah, we had a disagreement over the, like, like I was telling you before about bringing my dead husband back. Gotcha. Um, he's a little bit more against it because they didn't have, they had a roughy, uh, they had a, pretty rough rocky past huh. eh. well maybe this could be our little secret then we don't have to let anyone know especially while we're just you know trying to figure out how to do it <laughs> well i mean i'm not that secret about it but if you want to keep it like that if you like you know you don't want other people finding out what kind of powers you have i mean sure i'm okay mm -hmm. with keeping my mouth shut for now well, if it's something that people don't want to happen often, and I do have the power to do that, I, I definitely like to keep that under wraps, perhaps. <laughs> yeah, um, mind. yeah, I don't see why not. That's perfectly fine if okay. you want to keep yourself like that, so just in case maybe, mm -hmm. maybe there's like some sort of danger that some, you know, once once that kind of power, especially if you find out you could bring anyone back from the dead. Yeah, I feel like that's a power that a lot of people might want, and you might become quite popular. <laughs> yeah, and I, I like to, you know, I just, uh, I don't want to yeah. be popular. I rather just blend in, you know, just be a normal girl. <laughs> I hear you on that one. I hear you on that one. But no, that's perfectly fine with me. I am more than happy to do that. I'm just Great. thrilled that I was able to find you. Um, I'm, I'm excited to, to help in any way I can. And, and what was your name again? It's oh, jeez! I did, I went th through this whole entire speech and I didn't even give my name out. The name's Impu. Um, I'm the son of Anubis, or another title is uh, current um, Pharaoh of the Underworld. Gotcha. And as you know, my name is Riviere, and I think we're going to be great friends, Impu. Yeah, I think uh, I could see that definitely. <laughs> now, if you don't mind. I need to get back to the research. Um, I've been right now in Atlantis mostly because I've been trying to figure out all their stuff. I'll give you I'll give you pointers. There is a library in Atlantis that okay. has a lot of information on there. Uh, I went out and I put like little sticky notes on you know what books might have potential artifacts. So if you were just kind of curious in general, and maybe you picked up on something that I didn't realize, mm -hmm. you can feel free. Okay. Yeah. Maybe I'll. I'll head there this afternoon. Thanks. Sounds good. <laughs> I'll that. probably be over there. All so, right. um, 
It was a pleasure talking to you, and I'm just... Thank you so much for helping out. It really does mean a lot. The pleasure was all mine, really. All right. Also, tell Zylo to stay at his cabin more... Stay at his freaking office more often. Jeez, I haven't been able to see that guy in freaking forever. And I have a lot of issues with this camp. Uh, I need to get fixed. Yeah, no, I'll be sure to let him know as, as soon as he gets back. It's weird. He's Good. like he's avoiding this place or something. <laughs> Uh, he's got a he's yeah. I'm sure it's fine. But tell him something. The front door that needs to get fixed. I can't fix that. Someone freaking destroyed it and it's annoying me. A heck, it's completely off balance and I hate it. Gotcha. So tell him that, okay? Well, Sound good. Do. <laughs> All right. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Yeah. I'll see you later. Okay. See you later. <laughs> oh, this is too easy. Hmm.